Brazil is known for its arm power, so it would be no surprise that it is the birthplace of many great guns. Join us today as we see the top 8 guns from Brazil. Stay till the end to know the top number one gun and the story of the derivation of its name. The Model 605 was a sidearm that, in contrast to the standard revolver, had a cylinder that held five rounds. This helped the sidearm keep its small size. One component of the handgun incorporated the Taurus standard key incited locking framework, delivering the gun pointless to cheats while one more integrated an exchange bar system to hold the sledge back from falling against the shooting pin except that the trigger was pulled back. The solid frame, stainless or blued finish, rubber covered grip, and oblong trigger ring were all very traditional features. The weapon was available in single action and double action versions and can hold 38 special or 357 cartridges. The weapon was available in single action and double action versions and can hold 38 special or 357 magnum cartridges. The sights had been set. The measured velocity of the musket was 1,450 feet per second. The open slide design of the Taurus PT-92 is similar to that of the Beretta. This means that the upper portion of the slide is cut away, exposing much of the barrel. The original PT-92 was similar to the original Beretta 92 in most ways, but it was also unusual for its time because it had a squared trigger guard that supported the index finger of the opposite hand while firing. This feature was later added to the 92 SBF or 92 F model of the Beretta 92 in 1985. In most cases, the Taurus PT-92 is less expensive than the Beretta 92. The Taurus PT-92 has gone through numerous modifications in the plan since it was initially delivered in the mid-1980s. The non-ambidestrous safety, round trigger guard, and most notably the magazine release in the heel of the shiny plastic grips were all features of the very early PT-92 models that were produced between 1982 in 1983. These models were nearly identical to the original Beretta 92. However, the release button at the base of the trigger guard, which is currently the most common magazine catch location in the industry, was quickly adopted as the new design. However, aftermarket magazines for the Beretta 92 or Taurus PT 92 frequently include cutouts from both magazine releases. The third safety position decocker that is now standard on PT-92s and PT-99s was not present in the earlier models. This feature was added to the second generation models in the early 1990s, along with the three dot sights on the Beretta 92F. The grip and slide design was changed in a third revision in the late 1990s, and it now has cocking serrations that are wider than those on PT-92s made before 1997. The caliber of the Limbal 9 GCMD1 is 9x19mm. The pistol is a timeless classic with a black painted finish. It is 1.12 kg in weight. It is a single action semi automatic pistol. It has a furrow made of a carbon steel and a carbon steel frame. It has a cold forged rifling, a ramped barrel, and is light. The gun is perfect for most users thanks to its 219mm length. It has a barrel length of 5 inches or 128 millimeters. It has a pitch of 254 millimeters and 10 inches and is composed of 6 lanes of clockwise radiation, or 6H. A metallic bifler box type charger is included. There are 17 rounds in the magazine of the pistol. There are 3 magazines total for each weapon. On the same, there are options with or without an ADC or dog-arming or disarming the system. Hammerfired's Taurus TH9 line of full-sized and compact performance pistols, the Taurus TH series is a modern take on a traditional hammer-fired SA or DA semi-auto platform that is well-equipped, extremely dependable, and chambered in either 40 SNW or 9mm Luger. The Taurus TH9 is a polymer handgun with a carbon steel barrel that is 4.2 inches long. It is available in either the 40 SNW or 9mm Luger caliber. FDE and a variety of other colors are available, including black and gray. 
In addition, the compact version of the Taurus TH9C, which has a capacity of 13 rounds but is designed specifically for CCW, is much simpler to conceal. The TH9 is a little wide for concealed carry at 1.3 inches, but the double stack magazine holds 17 rounds. The SNW Taurus TH40 comes with an 11 round magazine. The hammer fired Taurus PT809, which was also blueprinted, is a good example of the overall design. The slide of the TH9 is fairly simple to rack and has a slightly grooved grip for your fingers, making it suitable for hands between medium and large. The Taurus Model 856 was a six-shot, conventionally arranged, small-framed service revolver that came in a variety of finishes. The series premiered in 2003, but Taurus International has stated that it is no longer being produced. The Model 856 received rubber grips as an option for a secure hold, with a barrel assembly that was only two inches long. Its total length was six and a half inches. To prevent accidental firing, the safety system was the Taurus security system, and the trigger was either double action or single action. The hammer was visible at the rear of the frame. The six-shot rotating cylinder was inserted into the center mass, and the trigger unit was visible under the frame were all basic features of the revolver. The weapon had sighting devices all along its top. The Taurus Millennium Series is a line of hammer-fired, striker-fired, short recoil-operated, double-action, single-action, or double-action semi-automatic pistols produced by Forges Taurus SNA in Porto Alegre, Brazil. The Millennium line was developed with the intention of competing in the civilian market for concealed carry firearms and serving as a backup weapon for law enforcement personnel. The Thousand Years Star PT-145 additionally includes a similar progressive single activity or two-fold activity trigger and matching chronic numbers on the casing, slide, and barrel. For added security, the tourist security system is included at no additional cost. It has posit traction slide serrations, improved finger indexing ambidextrous index memory pads, an ergonomic grip design, and hind straight eight sights. The Millennium Pro is the best option for concealment and backup carry because it is light, powerful, and technologically advanced. The Brazilian Pistola 9M973 and the original American M1911A1 differ significantly in that Brazilian Pistola 9M973 uses the universal 919mm Parabellum cartridge instead of the American M1911A1's 45's ACP round. In comparison to the M1911A1's 7 round capacity, the smaller cartridge allowed for 9 rounds to be stored in the vertical, well spring loaded magazine. The M973 was essentially nothing more than a 9mm copy of the M1911A1. The weapon's operation was based on the short recoil principle, and the trigger had a single action. The barrel of the pistol was 128mm, or just over 5 inches long, and the pistol as a whole measured 216mm, or 8.5 inches. The reported unloaded weight was 1.01 kg. When directly compared to the M1911A1, the Imbo version differed little from the M1911A1 in terms of its exterior features, which included a solid trigger system encased in an oblong ring, robust checkered grip furniture, and an exposed hammer at the rear. For a more dominant handhold, a noticeable prowl overhang was forged over the rear of the pistol grip. The ejection port was normally located at the top middle of the receiver, just like in the Colt and the safety mechanism was set to the left side of the gun, just above the grip. Iron sights had a post in the front and a notch in the back. Taurus Judge is a powerful revolver that can fire either a 410 shell or a 45 Colt pistol cartridge, making it ideal for close range man or pest hunting. As a sidearm, the Judge developed by Brazil's Taurus is a powerful revolver. The pistol, which is referred to as a combo gun, can feed through a 5-round rotating cylinder and chamber either 410 shotgun shells or the 45 Colt cartridge as needed. The weapon has a very traditional design and is meant to be carried concealed for close self-defense. The gun's name comes from Taurus's claim that numerous judges rely on the Taurus judge for courtroom security. 
A drawn-out ejector pole takes into account positive extraction of spent shell housings and the elastic grip ingests a portion of the shock experienced while shooting the strong rounds. While the rear sight is fixed, a red fiber optic dot can be seen at the forward sighting device. The hammer portion of the action has a transfer bar that prevents it from striking unless the trigger is completely pulled to the rear. The finish on the frame is matte steel, and the frame itself is small. The length is 7.5 inches, and the total weight is 0.82 kilograms. 3 inches long is the barrel. The chambers of the cylinder have been specifically designed to prevent the use of cartridges with longer or higher pressures. By subscribing, let us know how well you shoot and practice your aim. And in the meantime, check out our channel for more such top lists. Want to dive in deeper into the world of Brazilian arms? Then click on this video. Top 10 Brazil Revolvers Better Than American Guns